Hey guys, this video is brought to you by viewers like you and people that support our website, codingphase.com. Go check it out. Over 20 courses in there that's going to guide you to become a developer from the beginning to becoming a pro. Uh, Joe, do you have to code? Do I have to code my own portfolio? Can I just buy a template? Does it matter? Um, no, you don't have to code your own, temp your own portfolio. You could actually buy a template. And say, hey, this is the template that I like. This is the one that I want to show to people when they come to my website. You could definitely do that for sure. All right. But one thing that I, I will advise you is make sure that whatever design or whatever features that you have on your portfolio, you can actually build yourself. And the reason why I tell you this, because if a HR person, all right, a HR person sees your website and says, oh, great. This is a, a beautiful website. This developer is legit. They don't know that you bought a template, right? Now, when you go to an interview and a developer asks you, oh, you built your, your page, you're going to say, oh, no, this is actually a, a template. I mean, technically, nobody. I don't think nobody's going to ask you if you built it, to be honest with you. I've never asked anybody, oh, do you build this? No, I already assumed that you built it, right? So assuming that, like, let's say if there's like uh, para parallax scrolling, there's like filtering with, you know, the, the different projects. Like, let's say if I choose show me HTML, CSS projects or show me PHP and Node.js projects and it filters through and it looks all nice and low, all pretty, whatever. Make sure you know how to do that because. A company might hire you expecting that, oh, this person knows how to do this. So we actually might need this for our website. So if you don't know how to do it now, when you're at the job and that's, oh, can you do this? The same thing that you do on your portfolio, like, you know, a little filtering and this and that. And you say, um, I'm going to have to Google that. People's going to look at you like. Like, yeah, you just you schemed it. You know what I mean? Like you don't you never want to do that. So pick a design or a template something that you can actually build don't try to go in there and, and pick the most amazing template and then get embarrassed later on when they ask you to do that okay